Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. <coughs> in today's matchup, we should have a fun one on our hands. It's the Browns coming in at 8-1. and one going up against the Panthers, who come in at 5-4. and four. Thank you, Larry. From the shores of Lake Erie, EA Sports has coverage of the NFL from First Energy Stadium here in Cleveland, Ohio. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Carolina Panthers and the Cleveland Browns. The NFL season has hit high gear, and off we go in Week 11 on EA Sports. And a fair catch signaled for and taken success. They go play action here on first down. Going underneath for Corral. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 13 yards to pick up there. Good for a Cleveland first. Nice little nifty play for them there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, Hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down right. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. And with the play clock winding down, we're going to get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. is Isaiah Crowell and able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. I once had a defensive player in the NFL tell me, if I beat and dominate the guy across from me, I'm helping my team. Well, winning one-on-one -on -one battles is always a part of the game, but when you have good team defense, as we just saw there, of one broken tackle, but he didn't get away because the rest of the guys arrived to put him on the ground. Second down following the run. Again, it's Crowell, and he'll be brought down loose. 
losing yardage back at the 40. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Charles Johnson's stock in trade is coming off the edge and getting to the quarterback. He knows how to make some of those subtle moves inside to help in the run game, and he did it right there. He's an athlete back in high school, played football, basketball, track, so he's a mobile guy. Mobile guy made a nice play against the run. And on third down, a nickel formation here. <laughs> shy of midfield at the 48. It'll be a gain of eight, but it also lead to a fourth down. Still leaves him with fourth and short. Any chance you go for it? It's definitely in the back of my mind. In fact, I've discussed it with my staff all week long, different situations that I may want to go for it. Where's the ball in the field? Do I have confidence in my trigger guy? What am I going to do? I'm also talking about my analytics department. What are the odds? If I don't get it, what's it going to do to me the rest of the game? Personally, I end up taking all that, putting it in my head, and making a decision. And you know me, I'm probably going to go for it. Wow, well, you want to make an opening drive statement. Yes, I do. Once I have the ball and I've got around the move, I don't want to just give up that easily. are going to take another timeout. And that's their second charge timeout here in this first quarter. They're down to one remaining. Christian McCaffrey, nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. So second and nine, the defense looking to put them in a bad spot here. From the gun, Kaiser. And his throw is incomplete. There are a good number of coaches at any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. And it looks like a nickel set now for the Browns on third down. Here we go. One, Working out of the gun. Here's Kaiser. Flush to his right. Throw right side is going to be caught by Senior. And he will so get him to the ground at the 37. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurate when he throws a nice pass for a first down. Kaiser to throw it. That's Samuel, caught left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Second down throw for Kaiser. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Danny Shelton busting through to get him for a loss of six. So a tough spot for Kaiser. The sack, and now it's third and long. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon.
getting something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. From the shotgun, it's Kaiser. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Danny Shelton in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. Now a man who punted for the Browns in 2015, Andy Lee on to kick it away. As he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. This is taken at the 10. A good return there, 17 yards. And the Browns will take over, first and 10. Now the Browns offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. And you know, certainly a lot of football left to be played. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're first place in their division, looking good, looking to be a threat come January. And let's think about what every team has in their goals, all right? Number one goal is what? Make the playoffs. Number two goal is win your division. Number three goal, and the biggest goal, I think, is to be the highest seed possible that you can be heading into the playoffs so that you can have as many home games as possible to try and get you to the Super Bowl. And right now fighting for every win possible to try to at least secure home field for the wild card and or divisional round. See if they stay on the ground for second down. They'll run it again with Crowell. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it's going to make it third down at six. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Time running out here on the play clock. And with the play clock reading four, we're going to get a timeout. And my goodness, they're now out of timeouts here in this first quarter. And the Panthers bring in their nickel set as they try to defend here on third down. Five defensive backs. From the gun, here's Newton. That's complete to Brent. And he'll be knocked down sideways at the 47-yard line. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height, sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes things tougher defensively, doesn't it? It really does because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back completed. But when you have that type of height, he can stay in there. If he's willing to take the hits and just fire over the top, which saves him time and actually completes a play a little bit quicker than it normally does for a quarterback that has to slide and find open space to throw. Good job there keeping him to a short gain. Of course, he's coming off a really terrific performance, reigning NFC Defensive Player of the Week. And I know people get caught up in, well, if you're the reigning Defensive Player of the Week, you must have made a bunch of spectacular plays. Like you mixed in a few of those, but most of the plays are just like we saw there. Keep them to short gains, make the fundamental tackle. On second down, here's Crowell. Only a gain of a couple there. That leaves him needing about seven here on third down. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. And the play clock's running down. Back to throw. Newton. Brought in by Coates. Back with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. The Browns with a football to begin. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. First 
touchdown carry now for Crowell. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Back-to-back 11-yard -back gains, and they've got another first down. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. He dumps him for a loss of eight. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. Take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. 13 yards on the pickup, and that's going to lead to a third down. In today's NFL, when you get teams in long yardage situations with your defense, you're really going to go to your speed packages. You're going to get smaller, lighter guys on the field in order to cover the expected pass. So they might want to run the ball against a smaller, lighter lineup with your big guys. And that's exactly what happened on that play. It was tough on them. And now, instead of being in third and very long, they ended up setting themselves up in third and manageable. They've got a chance at a first down. Already a pair of third down conversions for them on this drive. But right now, they need five yards on this third down try. Out of the gun, Newton. Able to shake him off. They'll wind up being stopped for no gain, and it'll lead to a fourth down. Zane Gonzalez now to try the Browns' field goal. From the left hash, this from 34. And the kick by Gonzalez is good. And the Browns are out to a 3-0 lead. And that field goal caps an 11-play drive. It's a lot of offense to run to only get three points, but they'll take them. Anytime you can put anything on the board, you run to your sideline somewhat happy. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. Now the Panthers' offense, they get set to come back onto the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating. Rush coming, and he's taken down. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. are now on second down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's brought down after a good game. 23 yards on the play. as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the juke. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? They go play action. Kaiser. Takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. Remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck rule that they can fall back on anymore. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. 
And for the moment, this will be a first down. But we have a marker on the field. Let's see if this stands. guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves, gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. That's fielded at the eight-yard line. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the Browns will take over with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up. But they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. Here's Newton now on second down. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A really nice gain of 25 yards. On the counter, it's Crowell. And he's brought down. Ten more there and another first down. I absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. Even with him busting through the contact, he'll still be stopped just inside the 35. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. <laughs> On second down, Johnson. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Yeah, once more, strong running, excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Two minutes to play here in the first half. More from Cleveland after this. Now a handoff to Crowell. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. And now we get a timeout called on the defensive side of the ball by the Panthers. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Oh, I thought I threw that ball away. Gosh. I thought I threw that ball away. I thought I clicked that in time. They'll 
They'll run it now out of the gun. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. But once again, a good example of situational football. That was third and very long, so you know they were guarding against the pass. And when they decided to run the ball, that was okay. Whatever yardage they picked up, as long as they didn't get to the first down marker, the defense was willing to concede, and they stopped them well short of a first down. You're kidding me. You actually block kicks? Oh my gosh. Playing with a dude who actually blocks kicks. Unbelievable. I don't know what to say about people that actually block kicks. <laughs> I mean, who blocks kicks? Unbelievable. A kick blocker. I just I assume that when I'm playing against people that they're they they're not gonna do that. Block kicks. Ay ay ay. Playing with a kick blocker. situation if you got the football you're trailing you're back in your own territory with just a little time do you try something once again we're i mean i know dorian but that's that's such a madden type of tactic Just trying to hit stick me every time. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved. Call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. Sorry, Larry, your hard work appreciated by so many men and women, but not today as we get back to the action in the second half. That's fielded in the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. And this is their third drive. Maybe the focus right now not so much on points, but getting their first first down. And when you start off a game, you don't even think that's an issue, do you? But you go a drive, a second drive, no first down, that becomes an issue. Now you got to think about, okay, what type of play calling do I have to do to get us in a spot to pick that first one up? Oh gosh, what are we doing? What are his audibles again? It's just their first 
so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Second down. Oh, Second down, Kaiser. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he's able to get up here to the 26. A good job defensively to hold that to four yards, and now it's third down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. Pick it. No. Got hit. Ball pops out incomplete. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt. scoring this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build who's going to make the big play so second and ten here they'll throw again kaiser what did I not contain on that play? Did I not contain on that play? Oh my gosh. I thought I contained on that play. Maybe I didn't. Nice play. That was nice. Man, I thought I contained on that play with Kaiser. Uh. Nope, pick it. Jeez, please. I'm telling you, when a team refuses to pass, it's been demonstrated time and time again. So a tough spot for Kaiser. The sack, and now it's third and long. Kaiser now. Oh, my bad user. Gosh, bad user. That was that was Pick City. I just screwed up my user. Damn. 
Oh, crap. I just messed up the user. That was a turnover. That was a turnover. That should have been a turnover. That should have been a turnover. I just screwed. And he was going to throw that regardless. Yeah, he was he was going to throw that regardless. Yeah, he was going to throw that to that wide receiver regardless. That was being thrown regardless. I should have picked that off. Ah, crap. Whoa. That's a whole bunch of craziness. Gosh. I'm surprised at how bad I use her that. That's from... That's from not playing Madden ever anymore. That's from not playing Madden ever anymore. Whoa. No. Oh, on a mid blitz. I forgot. I thought I picked cover two. Darn it. Well, that was a good call. Although, would, ever, would a team ever run a bubble screen inside the 10? Would a team really run a bubble screen inside the 10? Seems a little bit crazy. Bubble screen inside the 10. Nice call. Ooh. That was a nice call. Nice play call. on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and goal. On, let's go. Now they'll put a receiver in motion left. They come out here in the eyes. Kaiser just getting the playoff. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line. At a I'd go for it here. A terrific job there to keep him out of the end zone. And now it'll be fourth and goal. If I was him, I'd go for it. They're not going to kick it. A chip shot, but they're going for it down three on fourth down. What was that? Doesn't matter. Who is this against? It's bullshit. Why would they decline that? I don't have a good answer for you, but let's work the math. Oh, here we go. It's just a matter of will he go toss? Or you get to rerun the down you just had. I like that. Dive. This makes zero sense. They'll run 
No, wow, nice juke. He was dead. I, I guessed right. I guessed what he was going to do. I picked the formation for a toss. He just... I should have taken control. I should have, although, I guess... I don't know if it would have faked me out still. I don't know if that happens in Sim, too. I don't think I'm doing that bad. So he has seven points that never should have happened because of, uh... They begin with a run by Crowell. And some room to work. So he has seven points that never should have happened. Just what the Browns needed there. Good for a gain of 17. I love when a player has um, game that I can actually kind of fall back on one of my favorite adages, and that is any time there's a run over 10 yards, Seven points that never should have happened, and that good drive, which should have been eliminated. Anything after that means the wide receivers did a great job of blocking downfield, being willing to mix it up, and give them some more space to gain additional yardage. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. How does Shaq not block there? Just a yard up to the 39. That's a really nice play, being able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one yard gain. Now it's Newton here off the bootleg. They'll roll him out right. Stop shy of the 45, despite some powerful running. They'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. The Browns on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This will be third and five. Gosh, these audibles. Play clock winding down. Now with a play clock at four, we're going to get a timeout called. So, boy, that's already the third they burn here. They are out of timeouts now before we've even hit the fourth quarter. Does he have an outside zone here? I don't like any of this. Let's run it. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's gonna be taken down right at the line. Ah, the right run called. Just it leads to a fourth down. Not good blocking. But it was stopped on that play, but he's had plenty of carries all afternoon. Every now and then the defense is going to win one, but I don't think they'll shy away from handing it to him the rest of the game. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. And this ball is going to be down now, right at the 10 yard line. Good spot. So, seven points he never should have had, and another seven that should have been taken away by a tackle behind the line of scrimmage on that fourth down, and then a user interception that I just didn't make. Doesn't matter where you start with the football now, they have to feel great about their opportunity. I wonder if he'll still pass here. Every t it's funny, every, it seems like every Madden game I play, as soon as the guy, as soon as my opponent feels like he's in a game, uh, they just go 
so pass happy. I don't have an unaggressive, do I? That's not unaggressive. I'm not unaggressive. Oh, I'm unaggressive? Jeez. Oh, take that away. I thought I was on balance there. Look at that, 106 y total yards given up and I'm losing. That's crazy. Goodness for that. Uh, detachment. Although I don't even like that. Well, I guess if the linebackers are in zone alignment, but you would never pull a guard against that front. You would never pull a guard against that front. Oh my gosh. Whoa, get on the ball. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Get on the ball there. Pick up the ball. That's seven. Shaken up on the play. Well, he gets attended to. He'll step aside. On first down, it's Newton. Oh, gosh. My mistake. That was a touchdown. What a good play call. That was a touchdown. Oh, brother. That was a touchdown. Damn it. I threw it too late. I wound up to throw it too late. That was a touchdown. Fruck. Fruck me. Newton now to throw. 
Yeah. Oh, that was a touchdown. Man. Oh, that counter shot hurts. That was a touchdown. I caught him perfect. Perfect blocking. He he was in the absolute right blitz to hit that. That was a touchdown. That was a touchdown. Gosh, that bothers me. Man. You know what it, it was is that I drifted a little bit right, and I shouldn't have done that. I, I thought I needed to, but I didn't need to. I think I had it there that I could have just thrown it. Um... Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Reward a guy for fielding a punt at the five. Um, man, that's too bad. Well, I should have the lead right now. That's too bad. Really? An end around that? No. Ho 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 ho. Gosh, that, that's upsetting. I wonder if they'll show a replay of that. Pick it! Oh! He's throwing in the guy who's right... Oh, man. That's a terrible read. That's a terrible read. Oh, I fucked that up. I fucked that up. Man, this game should have been mine easy. He should have no points. He should have he should have no points. Oh, jeez. Yep. Dorian should have no points in this game. I was all fucked up because I checked the, uh, the zone assignments and they were all screwed up because he went trips. I didn't even realize. I don't like this call again. What? What is this? Come on. Hold on. No, wait, what is, okay. Whoa! I don't understand that read. Everybody, every Madden player goes trips when they, when they, when they're in trouble, when they need something. They, everybody goes trips. They all go trips when they need something. Oh, I forgot. Please pick it. This is a game I can't believe I'm losing. I can't believe I'm losing this game. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I'm losing this game. Fourth, and if this team has any 
any chance to win this football game. Their defense obviously needs a stop here. From the shotgun, it's Kaiser. He's going to leave this running back. It's complete. Are you fucking... Yeah, get that, get that ball. Thank God. These jukes. Oh. The abuse of the juke. I mean, I understand that McCaffrey is a, is a, is an elusive guy, but the abuse of the juke just bothers me. And it is abuse, in my opinion. It's the same, it's the same thing with block kicks. The juke is the same exact thing as with block kicks. Is he really gonna go cover for QB contain on these things? I don't like any of his audibles. It was cover four QB contain. I just didn't have a pass that could that could uh, abuse that. Because Zach, Zach's audibles are terrible. Man, I don't know his plays here. I don't know his plays. Oh gosh, I just don't know his plays here. The offense certainly looking to score some points, but they also need ball security here late as we get down to the final moments of this one. There's Newton. Okay. One that's incomplete. Isaiah Crowell, the intended target, and that'll make it third down. Well, they're slinging it, and then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. Throwing on third down, Newton. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. That was interesting. Well, this was a set where it's just this playbook. Uh, is, you know, it is what it is. And I understand, I understand Zach built this, um, I, you know, like, I don't even know, I understand Zach built this, uh, the defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. Desperation time, Newton, fourth down. That was, that was elite. That was elite. That was elite quarterbacking. I probably should have stepped up a little bit, but that was, that was too good. That was too good. Perfect, too. He was the safety. He jumped that in. That was perfect. What are with these audibles, Zach? God. Gosh darn. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got it across midfield and down to about the 47 yard line. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. That was such an elite throw. Oh my gosh. Is he really going to zero blitz me? I'll give up a down to save the clock. Even though the, the spike ball is so bad, players don't rush nearly enough. Ten yards. 
yards still left on second down. I, I, I'm, I got this guy so dead to rights. I know exactly what he's doing. Remember, field goal does him no good in this situation. You gotta think they should be taking some shots for the end zone soon. They'll look to throw. And they can't get up from the down. What a huge play at this point in the game. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire Yeah, my fault. I probably should have uh, gone to something different. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Now, I deserved better that game. I guess maybe I didn't because... Maybe I didn't because... Uh, because I missed the pick. I missed the interception. That was my fault. Um, so I missed the interception. That was my fault, but I thought I deserved better that game. I mean, I gave him nothing on, on offense. Oh, ba basically nothing. Um... I thought I ran the ball okay. I mean, I left yards on the field. No, look at that juke. That's that's such a... I, I want to go over that juke. That's such a Madden juke. Like, it is... It, I really don't think you're getting faked out like that in real life. You know, I just... It, it's such a Madden juke. Look at that. I gave up a almost basically 160 yards and lost the game <laughs> and ran for 128 and lost that's really unbelievable let's go over some of the plays here just want to go over some of the highlights So here, I probably should have, um, yeah, he went to cover three. I probably should, I was actually, if I had the time, I was going to try and throw this post route. But, uh, that would have been picked. Yeah, I, I don't think, this would not have been a completion. This was just a rush. This was rushing. This down was, was rushed. This down was rushed. Um, what was this one here? Yeah, I, I really didn't have. It. I mean, I guess I could have thrown this the uh, the underneath, but I don't really think I had it. I don't really think I had anything there. I, you know, honestly, well, I guess I would have been caught by the safety. I was thinking I might have been able to run that in the end zone, if, but I think that safety would have ch would have uh, chased me down. This was uh, this is elite. I mean, like I said, I think I, I should have stepped up into the pocket more. So I should have stepped up with slightly earlier than this. I should have stepped up slightly earlier than this, but this is an elite throw. So he's using that safety. The second he jumps in on that in route, I let this go. This is an elite throw. That's elite. I, that's that's just an elite. Now, his corner probably should have made a play on this ball. His corner should have made a play on this ball. But um, I just think this is a really, really good play by me. That is a fantastic throw. Great timing. Perfect read. Just perfect. That's perfect. What happened on this one here? Oh, 
Oh yeah, my right tackle. My right tackle is not good. Um, it was just his end, his end beating my tackle. I didn't really have anything there either. Now this is what I'm talking about with the abuse of the juke here. I mean, so that's one. I, I forgot who I was using here, but I mean, that's one abuse. Like, this is not a juke. Like, if, if you look at this juke, the way this juke happens, this is... This is like not realistic at all. Like he doesn't even he doesn't even get inside him. <laughs> he jukes the guy. I, I, this is this is pure Madden. This is pure Madden right here. This is pure Madden. This juke is pure video game. Like that is not. That is just terrible. I. I if, This juke is actually not bad, but this is also, this is like, this is juke abuse. Because that player hits that player. Like, Cravens hits him. Cravens hits him. Like, look at this. Look at, look at his leg. Look at his leg right here. His leg goes right through. Doesn't his leg go right through Cravens? I mean, it, there's no way you'd be, as McCaffrey, there's no way right here you're avoiding contact. Plus, look at the ball. Look at the ball. Look at this. Look at the ball right here. Look at that. This juke works. This juke's this juke works. Are you kidding me? I mean, look at that right there. That ball is coming flying out. And now he. I ultimately I did force the fumble with the with the strip button, which is also ridiculous, by the way. The strip button is ridiculous. The fact that you can strip a ball just with one button push is ridiculous but that right there is uh, that right there that right there is just uh, uh, like that's it that's madden this is a perfect if you clip this this is perfect madden this encapsulates the the game right there use of an abusive juke a player that totally contacted the other one Ball goes right through my arm. Should have been a fumble. I mean, it's just... Ridiculous. I wonder where... Where was that pass he had? Oh, here's another one. So, so... I was trying to figure out, uh, on the goal line, basically, it's is he going ISO, is he going dive, or is he going toss? I, I thought to my, I, I guessed that he was going to go toss. I guessed that he was going to go toss. So, and he goes toss. And I totally have him here. Totally have him here. Like, Weddle, Weddle, if you look at this, Weddle is Lev Weddle kind of maintains leverage here. Weddle maintains lev good leverage here and somehow McCaffrey gets like as a running back as a running back you I don't think you would ever go outside this. You would never go outside this right here because Weddle would detach in real life and get an arm on you unless he's being held which would be a penalty. <laughs> This is a wrong, this is the wrong read as a running back. You are not going outside here. You are not going outside in this situation. You're going to cut this inside Weddle, where it's going to be blown up, where it's going to be one-on-one -on -one with that linebacker coming over the, scraping over the top. So he does a dumb thing, no offense to Dorian, but he does a dumb thing by breaking this outside. Total Madden move by breaking this outside. And then he's one-on-one -on -one with the linebacker. And once again, like, I mean, are we kidding? A running back that literally jukes as he's running east-west. And, and look at this juke again. Look at this again. Look at this. Are you... I, this game, I, I have no words. I have no words. 
I have no words. I wonder if Cody can get in this. Let me see if he's on. Oh, he's in a... He's playing uh, Call of Duty. Okay. So anyway, this is just insane. Now, this is insane. Look at this. The juke, I mean, that is... That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. First of all, the fact that you would juke running east and west. Like, your shoulders, my shoulders are literally squi- I'm looking at the cameraman, and I'm gonna juke? And not only juke, but Dewey McDonald, mind you, still makes contact with him here. I mean, there are no words. There are no words. And if you juked right here with those two players pursuing, you would get blown up. You would get blown up right here. You would get blown up right there. Unreal. And look at the ball again here. That's not a fumble. Dewey McDonald's helmet is literally... is literally going right through the ball. Christian McCaffrey would have to have the strongest hand in, like, it, it, to drag this across his face mask. That's unreal. That's unreal. I mean, I, I, this has to be a fumble. This has to be a fumble. That's got to be a fumble. That's got to be a fumble. As long as this game is canned animations, it's not going to be competitive. This has, has to be a fumble. You can't run like this. Like, you, you, this is football. You can't be allowed to run like this. That's ridiculous. Uh, is this the play? Okay, this is the play. Yeah, this is the play where... Uh, it should have been a pick. It should have been picked. And as you can tell right here, he's throwing this. Like, he's like, fuck it. I don't care. This guy's wide open, but I'm throwing this. That guy's wide open, but I'm throwing this. I mean, this guy's wide open, but I'm not going to throw it to him. I'm going to throw the guy who's running right at me. And I really don't know what I was doing here. I kind of, I drifted way too much here. This was a bad user by me. I just, I drifted way too much. Way too much. That's a terrible throw. That's a, that's a terrible, that's a terrible throw. That's a terrible read. Clean pocket, no pressure. Wide open guy running right underneath. And he throws it directly at me. That's a terrible throw. That's just bad cover three. But you know what? You know why? You know why this isn't terrible? Because he's usering the deep safety. If he wasn't usering the deep safety, I would say this is awful. This is a bad job by Madden. But he's actually usering center field. That's his user. So he's the one that goofs on this. That was just a mistake by him. That's the only reason. So I, I took advantage of his mistake. And got seven. It's just, once again, it's the perfect read. I mean, I don't mean to pat myself on the back, but that's the perfect read. That's just perfect. I mean, this is block kick. What are you going to do? I mean, we're blocking kicks out here. I think that was it. But those two jukes are... I just... You know, with Matt and I, I... How many times did I sack him? I won the turnover battle. I was terrible on third down. I was terrible on third down. Didn't get a touchdown in the red zone. 
around the ball pretty well. How many times did I sack him? Wow, Joe Thomas allowed two sacks. Man, that might have been my fault. So, four times? Two, two. Yeah, okay. Oh, the one play I do, I want to go back. I want to see if they have, do they have that counter that where he sacked me? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, I forgot what quarter this was in. This might have been it. Was this it? Oh, this was it. So he's in a zero blitz. He's in a zero blitz coming from the left. And I'm going to play fake to the left. So this is a perfect call by me. This is perfect. This is a perfect play call by me. He's blitzing from the left. I'm play faking to the left. He's picked up. No deep safety. I don't know where that other safety is going. But... So this blitz is totally picked up right now. And I drift. See, this is what kills it, is I didn't just... I should have just sat right here. But I drifted a little bit. And right here, I actually... I saw that... Actually, Britt was going to be open. And this is six. If I, if I throw this ball accurately, this is six. And I stopped, and just... It took too much time to wind up. Drift, drift, and then I stop until it just takes, the wind-up takes too much time. Man, but that's too bad. This is a touchdown. I just, I didn't feel like I could sit there. I felt like it was taking too long, and I didn't feel like I could just sit there. But if only I had a split second more, this is, this is six points. Look at how free he is. He's got two steps on him, three steps on him. That is perfect. That's just perfect. That's that's a shame. That's a real shame. Oh well. But those fumbles, those jukes, those jukes, that's that's it.